All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to separate certain audio tracks from your VOD um, on Twitch. Uh, this can include copyright music, Discord calls, whatever you want. Um, so basically what we need to do is, first of all, we need an audio source. And I have this audio source named Spotify, just for an example. Uh, but we're going to go up to File and Settings here, and we're going to go into Output. Now, you can't do this in simple mode so you have to switch to advanced and then you should see this audio track and twitch vod track here so most people will have their audio track set to one that's fine keep it that way um now you want to click this twitch vod track right here and you can select whatever track you want it to to represent it doesn't matter right but remember that if it's two that you want it to you want to remember that it's two. All right, so let's move forward. Um, so next what we have to do is we're going to right click into our audio mixer, go to advanced audio properties. And here I see Spotify, right? And basically I'm going to want to take this out of the VOD. So I'm going to make sure it is not included in my VOD track. Okay. And hit close and we're done now when we're playing spotify and we're streaming you will only hear the spotify in the stream and not in the vod and i will show you an example of that here i just use my mouse button Okay, now let's talk about a real scenario where you want to separate your desktop audio from your Spotify audio and you want your desktop audio to show up in your VOD but not your Spotify audio showing up in your VOD. So to do that, we're going to use a program called Voice Meter, uh, specifically the banana version. This is going to be really helpful because it comes with two virtual inputs which will be necessary for separating both of the audio sources. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to search for sound settings in our uh, in our search bar over here. And then we're going to go to choose your output device. We want to set that to voice meter input or voice meter aux input. It does not matter as long as you keep it consistent between the two. Uh, just know that all your desktop audio will now be going into voice meter input. I will set mine to voice meter input. That's where all my desktop audio is going. And then we're going to want to come into these advanced sound options right here. And I have Spotify open. I've already played some music. You might need to play some music before you get this to show up, but Spotify music should be in here. And in this first box, we can select which output we want it to go to so this is kind of confusing but voice meter aux input is an output we are outputting from spotify into voice meters auxiliary input okay so i'm going to select the other input because we want this we want uh desktop audio to go to, to the input and we want spotify audio to go to the auxiliary input so I'm going to select that. Now, when I play audio, you should see that Spotify audio plays in here. But if I, for instance, play, I don't know, let's play a YouTube video. Let's play some, uh, some other music. You should see that this YouTube video right here is causing this bar to move. The next thing that we need to do is we need to route these two virtual inputs to their respective audio output. Uh, we want to hear our audio come out our headphones. 
So as you can see here, uh, ignore my first option right here, um, but you will usually be using A1. However, I have to use A2 because I have a USB audio interface, but I'm gonna select my usual output, which is my monitor. I use my monitor's output right here, which will be the VG259QM monitor. Um, you choose what works for you. Um, sometimes WDM uh, gives me like some stutters. So sometimes I can't use that. Uh, however, MME is working for me right now. So I have set that BG259QM. This will be A2 respectively as the output. And I will now go to my two virtual inputs and I want to be able to hear both of these. So I will play both of these songs so you can hear me as I in and out, but okay. So I'm playing music right here. Uh, when I hit A2, you should be able to hear the music, right? If I turn it off, you don't hear the music. If I turn on A2 for my YouTube video over here or my desktop audio, this is what this represents. You can now hear that. Now I want to be able to hear both of these in my headphones. Okay, now that is set up, we have that out of the way. Okay, now for the actual part in OBS, what we wanna do is come into OBS, we want to add two sources, and these sources will be audio output capture sources. So I'm gonna create one for desktop audio, or just desktop. And this will be my voice meter input. Remember, input is what's capturing everything. That's how I have it set up. And as you can see, if I am to play, if I play this video right here, you can see desktop audio is going crazy. Now I'm going to add uh, another audio output and call this Spotify. And this will capture audio from auxiliary input. Okay. You are so now this will only go crazy with and if I hit play on Spotify. Okay. For the last step, all we have to do is do what we did in the first part, which is come in and set what audio we don't want to hear in the VOD. So now we're capturing all our desktop audio. Ignore this and this, because these are not part of our example, but desktop and Spotify, right? Desktop is capturing all of our audio through our virtual input. And then Spotify is capturing all our audio through from Spotify through our virtual input. So all we want to do is take out Spotify from our VOD. And that's it. Everything should be finished from here. Uh, you should be able to stream, play your games, and do everything you want with no problem. Uh, you might have a little bit of audio delay uh, coming through your headphones just because everything's going through software, but uh, that's just how it's going to be. Uh, there's no way to speed that up um, unless you have an actual hardware solution, as far as I know. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, uh, feedback, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll be glad to respond to them. And I hope this guide was helpful. Thanks.